Hey, welcome everyone to the fourth video of this Ross Navigation Stack series. In this video, we are going to make a map of the environment which we created in our last video. So, if you have not watched my previous video, I would suggest to watch out my previous video as every video is continuation from its previous one. So, before starting, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon as I bring such an interesting video every week. So, let's get started. As in the previous video, we made our own world and spawned our robot into that particular world. So in this video, our task is to map that particular world. So for that, first of all, we need to install some of the packages. So I have first of all created a file text file here. You have to copy this and you have to paste it into the terminal. This will install all the required packages for G mapping and navigation. So in my case, I have installed it previously, so it did not took much time, but in your case, it may take five to six minutes. So now after installing the packages, we'll source our workspace into each of this terminal. So now after sourcing the workspace, it's time to run our gazebo.launch file. ROS launch. Differential drive. Robot. Gazebo.launch. Press enter. Now second thing to launch is this command. Ross run gmapping slam gmapping just copy it and paste it here for now don't run this and here we'll open rvids I'll press enter now here we need to add by topic the laser scan We'll press OK. Then by add robot model, press OK. Now we have added our robot model here. So now let's copy this topic name. And paste it here. And I'll press enter. So now here you can see our robot is showing the laser scan data. Now I'll add by topic map. I'll press OK. So now you can see here the robot is making the map. Now I'll what I'll do, I'll open a new terminal. And I'll run teleoptist quiver node. Ross run teleoptist keyboard. I'll press enter. I'll choose this always on top. So I'll manage our workspace now so that we'll clearly able to see our robot as well as. The map we are making and I'll press here so uh, whenever you are trying to move the robot your terminal window should be at front and it should be active so I'll press I so that robot move in the front I'll press K now again I'll move back try to keep the speed as low as possible so that there will be no noise while gathering the data
So now here we have created our map. So what I'll do, I'll just split this terminal and I'll type a command cross run map underscore server map underscore saver hyphen f and name of my map which is my world map underscore map and press enter so now here we have successfully saved our map we have created our map and successfully saved our map so this is how we create our own map using the gmap impacts and in the next video we'll be configuring our navigation stack and try to make our robot navigate into this world until then stay creative with me technofetch